So, Happy New Year, everyone. Santa brought me this uh, mini milling machine here for uh, Christmas this year. Um, really happy to have it. Um, looking forward to working with it. Uh, I just wanted to go over uh, some of the features of it. This particular one is a Craftex CX605. It's about the smallest uh, mini mill you can get. Uh, cheapest one, what have you. Um, I'll just give a couple dimensions so you compare, can compare it with, uh, say, ones made by Eastwood or Harbor Freight Tools or uh, there's another one, King something here in Canada. And the name's eluding me. Anyway, uh, so I'll just uh, refer to the book here quick because I keep forgetting the dimensions. But anyway, it's got... It's got... Uh, Longitudinal table travel of eight and a half inches, uh, in and out of four, and up and down of seven. And the table itself, which doesn't list it online that I could find, is 15 and a quarter long by about three and a half wide, uh, give or take a little bit. Um, it's got 350 watt uh, motor on it. Um, let's see. It's a... Uh, half inch uh, drill chuck comes with it as well as the uh, chuck key didn't it didn't list that it comes with various wrenches this big guy here is for undoing the the nut at the back because the head can pivot 45 degrees either direction it's got scale there to show you and that's actually how i got it up on the workbench it weighs in at about 130 pounds give or take uh, i'm not as young as i used to be so uh Anyway, I just undid that nut at the back there and separated the whole, whole top portion. It's actually heavier than the bottom. And I lifted the bottom up, marked the holes, uh, drilled it and uh, bolted it down, and then lifted uh, lifted this part up and mounted it on. Now you gotta you gotta measure things when you go do stuff like that. I had to make sure it was going to clear the ceiling and etc. And that it would it would go on to the bolt once I got it up there. But anyway. It did. This guy's a little bit in my walkway, but I can always unscrew it. No big deal. Um, yeah, so the other thing, the, the website didn't list uh, the accessories it came with. So it comes with this big wrench for that nut. A um, couple other wrenches. You got one here for the, uh, I guess it's called the arbor, for undoing things. Uh, you got the, the small one goes on there, 17, and then uh, there's a bigger one here. It'll fit also. And you also have this funky looking thing. It goes in here, and you rotate this around. Yeah, it's not going to happen because it's not. Uh... But anyway, find the slot. You put the pin in there, and then you you rotate it this direction. You give it a smack, and it it undoes the uh, your uh, R8 taper on the the drill chuck. And then you uh, you give the top a smack there. Once you've loosened it up a bit, give it a smack. It'll it'll break loose from the taper and then have one hand under it and just unscrew it and it'll drop right out in your hand. It's nice and convenient. Now I also bought another collet, R8 taper collet and uh, also a, a 3 8 uh, four flute milling cutter but it, it does not come with this. It doesn't come with any of this. But for milling you'll want the, the collet because the uh, the drill chuck has uh, more play in it and things and that's not good for milling. Anyway, uh, so it comes with these various wrenches. This guy here, he hooks into the, I guess, arbor up here. Uh, maybe to adjust the bearings. I'm not 100% certain on that. Like I say, I just got this a few days ago and I'm still <clears throat> experimenting with it. Also comes with various uh, metric Allen wrenches for undoing things on it. Uh, and it also comes with two 10 millimeter um, T-nuts. It doesn't come with any... Uh, studs for them but so I have two of them in here I went and bought bolts uh, to clamp my uh, vise to the table uh, that'll be my next purchase will be a three inch milling vise this is just a two inch uh, drill vise but as you can see it's got all kinds of slop in it and when I was in the process of I bought uh, a pack of four uh, three eighths inch uh, t-nuts because they didn't have any more 10 mils in stock uh, so I had to machine them a bit there uh, still not done but um, they, they cock sideways anyway, so they go a bit at an angle, but for this 
what I'm doing here won't matter. Um, just make them fit and then I'll put four in it and you know it makes it much more sturdy. But I will be buying a milling vise because they're they're accurate, uh, whereas a drill press vise isn't. So anyway, um, so you've been having some fun with it. I'll just turn it on here. It seems to be a little bit noisy. Maybe I'll put this cap back on there. Um, So that's 1,000 RPM, high, high speed uh, goes up to 2,500. You got a you got a high low gear shift changer there. I haven't even moved it yet, but um, you know, all in all, it doesn't seem like too bad of a unit. Uh, it'll come in handy when I uh, machine the uh, uh, key seats and um, crankshafts and things for the the Briggses. But like I say, it's a, a tiny little thing, so. If you get one, just uh, you know, take uh, take light cuts with it. Uh, don't try to hog something out, or you might might break something. So, but for for uh, doing light and small work, should work out fine. So uh, anyway, I'm sure it'll help me out in all that I do. So, as I said before, uh, happy New Year to everyone, and uh, looking forward to watching more good videos on uh, YouTube. Uh, not not referring to my own videos i'm just you know talking about videos in general so but i do intend on making more and uh, maybe i'll show this uh, mill in operation here in future vids but anyway everybody uh, take her easy and we will uh, catch you later then